Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. I have important information regarding the pressure for AMC stock. And gentlemen, if you own AMC stock, you must view this video. Before I commence, please hit the like button if you enjoy AMC stock. It takes only a few seconds and I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're new, be sure to click the subscribe icon so you don't miss future videos. Please remember that this is not financial advice. Video is only used for recreational purposes. I would like to discuss these startling developments that could occur tomorrow, as well as how I envision a possible squeeze for AMC stock to play out. Make sure you people pay close attention, because what I'm about to tell you is absolutely insane. We are now only hours away from the beginning of a brand new business week. As you may have heard, the AMC settlements lawsuit was approved by Judge Zern last Friday, causing AMC stock to decline after hours and ape stock to rise on the news. You may now be pondering what will occur on Monday. As we approach Monday, I genuinely like to share my thoughts and forecast. I anticipate the first significant movement on Monday to be a continuation of the primate stock rally. Yes. Many people argue that it may be advantageous to purchase Ape stock rather than AMC stock because Ape stock is presently trading at a lower price than AMC stock and will be converted into AMC stock upon conversion. Thus, you ultimately receive a discount. Nonetheless, I am not persuaded by this strategy, given that AMC stockholders will receive one additional share of AMC common stock for every 7.50 shares of AMC stock they own. Therefore, it may not be the greatest idea to purchase Ape stock solely due to the discount. Please share your opinions in the comment section. This week, I will maintain my positions in both Ape and AMC. None of my shares of these two companies have been sold. Due to the fact that what may occur after conversion is highly unpredictable. If this is the catalyst that causes AMC stock to compress, I do not want to miss out on the compression. Please share your thoughts on this in the comments section below. Do you believe it makes a difference if the fundamental value is altered or if the limited thesis is eliminated? Because, as you may recall, we did not perform particularly well when we ran in January and June. Many people believe that once we do good, this will change and we will experience another tear. Now, briefly commenting on the S&P, the S&P 500, because I was unable to do so over the weekend. There has simply been too much activity at AMC. It did not completely close the margin, nor did it narrow it to 442.93. It came extremely near, but there is still a slight gap. Currently, there is also a gap fill to the upside to about 455.60. Consequently, remember this as well. Obviously, other catalysts will influence how the S&P 500 reacts and trades on the surveillance. As a result, I am not selling any of my shares or wholly switching to Ape stock prior to the conversion, as some people suggest, because doing so could potentially backfire. In addition, I anticipate that AMC stock will attempt to reclaim $4 per share on Monday. In my estimation, AMC stock must break back above $4 in order for the uptrend to resume in earnest. Nonetheless, if AMC ends up falling further and Ape stock rallies, it may be because some investors are purchasing Ape stock instead of AMC in an attempt to acquire a discounted share prior to conversion. As previously stated, I will not employ that strategy. Guys, please do me a favor. If you believe AMC could squeeze on Monday, leave a comment with the phrase AMC to the moon. In conclusion, if you enjoyed this brief update, please hit the like icon. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're new, be sure to click the subscribe icon so you don't miss future updates. Keep in mind that this is a video for entertainment purposes only and not financial advice. You should never decide to purchase, hold, or sell equities.